Hey cuties, I'm Lenikia and you're watching what happened on the soaps. This is the bold and the beautiful edition. All right, guys, let's get into it. Today is Friday. Yay! June the 23rd, 2023. On a scale of 1 to 10, I I'm, I'm going to let you guys write it um in the comments because I have feelings and let's talk about them. <laughs> so first of all, let's get into Taylor and Finn. Now Finn has had a morning. <laughs> okay, so the kids um Y'all know how it is when you have little ones. So they were they were having an emotional morning and then he got called in and he needed to work. So he had to call Taylor over to help him out. So this I guess this is later on. He's been to work. He's come home now. And they're just they're they're chilling out that you know the child the children are taking naps and everything and they're just enjoying some quiet time. And so they start talking about, you know, Rome. And um he tells her that he spoke to Steffi and it looks like the collection has done an amazing job in Rome. They, it was a huge success and he's very proud of everyone. And um, so Taylor tells him, yeah, I spoke to Thomas and he was saying the same thing and I'm so proud of them. And they, he tells her, you know, she, no, Taylor asks him, did Steffi give you any other tidbit of information? And he says, you want to know about Ridge and Brooke? Um, to be honest, we don't talk about them. So no, he can't update on her. He says, has Ridge talked to you um, since he's been in Rome? And she tells him, no, she hasn't heard from Ridge, but she understands this is a business trip and she wanted him to enjoy, enjoy that trip. So whatever he has going on, um, you know, whatever they have going on and her and her relationship with Brooke, all of that can wait until after the trip. I say, girl, okay. Um. So then- she says, plus she's not going to let her insecurities get the best of her. She's not going to go down that rabbit hole of thinking, you know, he's over there in Rome with Brooke, what's happening, what's going on. She's not going to go down that rabbit hole, right? And so he tells her, well, that's, you know, that's good. I'm, I'm, I'm glad you're not, you're not, um, and everything so they continue to talk you know and and she just tells them that she's disappointed that brooke doesn't take any accountability for how she ruined their relationship as well she's just playing the victim and she's disappointed in that um because she and brooke had this real relationship where she felt like brooke understood more than anyone the back and forth that they went through with ridge and i said i i get it taylor listen because you know you're my girl i get it but at the end of the day what we've all been telling you and if you are like for us fans that are fans of taylor we're kind of split as well because some are like i want her with bridge and then there's others like me who are like no she's always second best let her move on and i wish she would move on i wish i hope that she mo truly moves on like please bring this girl in a man that is completely different from anyone anyone has dated on the show from just bring someone in the way you did finn for steffi Bring, bring someone in for taylor so finn plays a uh, counselor to her psychiatrist and and she just pours out her feelings but you know she just says again she doesn't want to be insecure so she'll see what happens and that's pretty much it with them y'all um so then we oh she um does say that she can't believe liam didn't go on the trip and finn like looks down you know and she was like what what am i missing he said well actually Finn, I mean, um, Liam didn't go on a trip and Finn, Finn tells her, well, actually we convinced Liam to go on the trip. So he's headed over there. And she was like, oh, wow. I said, no, don't you get ideas. <laughs> don't you get any ideas, Taylor. Um, but that's it, y'all. Let's move on. So from there, we see um, Ridge and Carter. And Ridge will not take his eye off this keyhole. And Carter's like, hey, there's the lines growing. It was like four or five people. Then we went away and came back from commercial break. Baby, it was like 10, 15 people in this line. And he and Carter's like, <laughs> sorry, sorry, my friend is just he's he's a uh Ridge, can you please get off the keyhole? Ridge cannot because he is looking at Brooke through there and he is seeing his destiny child.
What we gonna do, y'all? I mean, put them together and keep them that way. This is as bad as Eric and Nicole over there on Days of Our Lives. Like, please stop making them be ruin Taylor's life. <laughs> please, like, stop making Taylor go on this merry-go-round when y'all all what they are always going to put Ridge back with Brooke. So Ridge said, Carter says, you know, we gotta go, and Ridge is like. He just takes off running. So Carter takes off after me like, what's going on? And they're just running through, right? And so the next scene we see, Carter is talking to Steffi. Ooh, child. <laughs> so Carter says, you know, Steffi was like, Carter, and she was, he was like, yeah. And she, he, he said, um, she was like, what you doing? And he said, we were just doing some sightseeing. And he said, I was with your dad. And we were looking through the keyhole. They call it a certain name. I forgot to um, write it down so I could remember. He was like, they were looking through the keyhole. And she said, oh, yeah, I heard about that. I want to go. He said, yeah. And they were like, it's supposed to be life changing. And he said, it's definitely life changing for Ridge because he looked through and he said he saw his future um in it his destiny and baby Steffi eyes was like oh my gosh I said yeah girl and she said because Carter was like then he took off running and she was like oh my gosh she already know what's about to go down she know that man is gone and her mama has lost him but um that was it with them that was it with Carter and Steffi so then um we keep going right and we get to hope and thomas uh so she's on the uh coliseum they're up on this the the top and and liam's at the bottom and he looks up and he sees them and he sees hope is the one who leans in and brings thomas to her and so she's kissing him down she's like loving him down or whatever then she pushes away and she looks at him and she brings him back i said oh <laughs> girl oh now y'all i told y'all i said thomas needs i mean hope and thomas are doing this and liam needs to yell up uh, what you doing and y'all said uh-uh that's not liam's personality baby i hate this soap <laughs> i hate it because y'all were absolutely right he starts walking and I said, oh, he finna go up there and he about to confront them or whatever. Yeah, get him, Liam, get him. And then we see Hope and Thomas look into each other, the eyes smile. And then the next thing you know, they're walking through the streets. And then he reach over and they hold each other's hands. I said, are, are y'all a couple? Hope, what you doing, girl? Like you went from I'm happily married. I don't want thomas to i now i'm kissing him and now we're gonna walk these streets like we are a couple on a vacation together and we're not known on you know it's not known that you know we shouldn't be like we're not gonna run into each other like you know what i mean in, into other people and if we did run into other people it's cool because we together i mean they walking around just happy a happy little couple in these streets or whatever and they go and they get something to, like a little snack to you know to perk them up and and he said or uh, thomas says what do you want to do now and she said she wants to continue to do this no she might have asked him that but either way they said they want to continue to do this which is run through the streets and and walking and look like they just in a romantic place having a romantic time i said what's the thinking behind this well what's the thinking behind this and so um they're getting up to leave the little cute cafe and and this woman comes up and she's like hope logan uh can i take a picture and so they're taking a picture and all that and thomas says if we're gonna leave we need to leave right now and they go about their day in this romantic haze of love and i said oh okay so then they continue to go on about their day or whatever and then we see thomas and he's just sitting standing there shell shocked and we see steffi right behind him and she's like no not thomas liam i'm sorry y'all and liam is just shell shocked and steffi's like liam she was like did you not find hope and he, and he got tears in his eyes and she said liam what's wrong he said oh i found her i found her in your brother's arms and she was like what she was like oh thomas oh i'm so sorry i thought he was doing better he said no 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 stiffy you were right you're always right it was hope hope leaned in and kissed him it was her the whole time i just i can't but i can't unsee it i can't believe what my eyes saw 
and she she was she went for him it wasn't thomas it was hope and Steffi's like well did you see wrong and i said are y'all trying to say bold are y'all gaslighting me did he did we see what liam saw or not because she was like the way she said it made me think that maybe hope just gave him a pick and tom you know liam might have saw it for more than what it was because but then i just saw hope and and thomas and they're not talking about the kiss you know what i mean i don't know don't gas like me <laughs> They're not talking about the kiss or anything. So I'm now I'm confused on what I saw. So anyways, child, he said, no, I saw what I saw. She leaned into him and she was kissing him. And he said, my nemesis of all the men, he said, I probably could forgive him. But it was Thomas. After everything he's done, my marriage is over. My marriage is over, Steffi. And she said, Liam, you don't deserve this. You don't deserve this. I said, "Uh uh-oh. Uh oh, Finn, what you undid sending this man over here? And so, yes, y'all, I know y'all hate it, but the worst thing that could have happened happened. And one minute, Stephanie, Steffi is just comforting him. Steffi is in love with her husband. She's just comforting, comforting Liam. And he uh, reached in and kissed her. I said, "What are you doing?" What are you doing? And she's like, uh, 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 what? She even, she's like, uh, Liam. And he's like, oops, wh- what was I doing? What did I just do? You kissed that woman because you are heartbroken. Don't try to mess up this girl's marriage. Now you're going to have to go back to Finn and tell him what had happened because you know Steffi don't keep secrets. So she's going to tell her husband. Now you and Finn going to have to have words because you are went and kissed Steffi. What, what, are, what are y'all doing? What are y'all doing, child? What what what's happening here? So then that's it with them, y'all. I said, don't gas like me. Show me what's happening. And I, I just hate this soap. I just <laughs> I just hate it. But I'm watching. So then we go over here. That's all with them, y'all. Um, so then we go over here and Ridge finally chases uh Brooke down and he's like, Brooke, Brooke, and she was like I got lost. I said, girl, you and I both was going to get lost. I don't know why you didn't wait on them to go, but I guess this was destiny. So he says, Brooke, I looked through the keyhole and she was like, what are you saying? What's happening? I said, now, girl, now, Brooke, how old are you? You know, what What are you saying? What's happening? He said, I looked through and I saw my destiny. I said, oh, God. Oh, oh, no, Lord. (laughs) <laughs> no jesus he said i saw my destiny and i saw you in it and 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 i saw us and and i believe again and i said oh gosh and then he started kissing on brooke and i said well one marriage falls apart and one one divorced couple is about to get back together and have a marriage i guess child that was it that was the bold and the beautiful today guys I don't know. I don't know. I'm so disappointed in Liam. Like, don't be trying to mess up somebody else's marriage because yours isn't down the drain or whatever. And some of y'all are like, he deserves this. All the times that Steffi um, and him and Steffi and Hope had to catch them kissing and stuff. I don't know about all that. I wasn't watching then. I just know about this and and, and on this, Hope is wrong. (laughs) She forgave him for all the times she saw it and told him it was okay. I forgive you and I'm going back to you. Hey, ma'am. All right, like it's it's the weekend. Um, be safe, be blessed, y'all. Um, just pray for the people who are going through all these different storms and everything. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you Monday for all new episodes of What Happened on the Soaps, uh, the Bold and the Beautiful edition. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. Goodbye.